Inverclyde Trust was established 20 years ago to help the people of Inverclyde by providing training and support to those who may need it. The main areas in which the Trust operates are disability, training and employability. In this film we will deal with an aspect of the Trust that touches on all of these areas, volunteering. Hi, my name is Jim Bristow and I'm Chief Executive of Inverclyde Community Development Trust. It's about 15 years now since we um, took on the volunteer uh, centre management. Um, it's part of a, a collaboration between Volunteer Development Scotland and the Council. Hi, my name is Diane McAllister. I'm the manager for the Trust that's responsible for the volunteer centre. Volunteering is definitely, most definitely linked with employability and people that help others through volunteering have a platform to uh, demonstrate their capabilities and develop real skills. It can also help with personal development and um, build confidence. Hey, my name's Jim and uh, I've been doing a lot of volunteering for 10 years now, maybe more. I was on the sick light, you know, and um, I took a heart attack, uh, things like that, you know, and then I recovered and uh, was out volunteering to help out the uh, community. Sort of thing. It was a new deal and uh, Carol Hughes came over. She was you know, talking about it. And I was sitting in that new deal. I was like, nah, this is this is not good. So me and the mate decided to go go and do it. It, it keeps you it keeps you busy and you can see the the pleasure that gives the, the people that you're working for. It, just, you know, it makes them happy and then you feel a wee bit happier. Part of my job within the Volunteer Centre is to help uh, people within the community to volunteer within the community, give something back or for whatever reason they want to volunteer and to help them identify the best possible placement for them. It's also to engage with voluntary organisations to help support volunteers, um, to maybe train the organisations on how to help support the volunteers as well and to look at different various opportunities that we can register within our database. Where does the volunteering take place? Those who choose to volunteer can participate at various places throughout the area. These include the Trust Mini Centres and associated project placements, as well as in the homes of clients or recreational facilities hired for the purpose in the area. 73% um, of employers have said that they would rather employ somebody with a volunteering experience uh, than without. And the kind of core employability skills that employers are looking for that you can get from a volunteering experience are things like teamwork, um, motivation, enthusiasm, um, adaptability and communication. There's different areas within Inverclyde for volunteering. Um, it can go from committee work to childcare to working within a tea bar to working in charity shops to Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, to working in nurseries. Um, it really depends specifically on the person's needs and skills when they come in to volunteer and where they want to volunteer themselves. My name is Robin McNichol, I'm 13 years old. Uh, at Ladybird P5 Centre I help the kids with anything they need help with. I, um, we take them outside and we play with them and show them if they're stuck or anything. And um, at the tea bar I serve people I butter scones and rolls, do some rolls, do the cakes, uh, make pots of tea and do coffee cups. My name is Gerald McFadden, uh, I'm 41 year old. I stay in Port, I've stayed in Port Glasgow for approximately 20 years. Um, I was a security guard, janitor, concierge. Um, my interest is in such as boxes and such like. Uh, but as I said, being a concierge and a janitor, I discovered that I've got a bit of a talent with kids, keep their attention, and with the voluntary side, I thought I'd take it a wee bit further. With the OCD, you got a tendency to obsess about just about anything and everything. So I've discovered that it's maybe try and change that around and obsess about the right things rather than the wrong thing. Uh, so it's really, it's helped me just help deal with what my, deal with my everyday life is. As. Who would guide new volunteers? Any new volunteer who approached the Trust would also be given any training that was necessary for them to perform their duties. They would be guided through this process by staff at the Volunteer Centre. If they decided to work within a community centre uh, cafeteria, 
then they could be given um, food hygiene training. Um, again, if they wanted to maybe work with care, within care, they would maybe do befriending, which would be befriending training as well. Um, it really depends on the opportunity itself. Um, adult literacy, they would do ital training as well. Um, and with victim support, they would do um, training, listening skills, counselling skills training um, to deal with victims of crime. Befriending programmes are based on volunteers going out into the community and helping elderly and vulnerable people. This may be as little as just visiting them to keep them company or may extend to doing some work around their houses. Befriending is a project that uh, we run as a volunteer centre project and it's one-to-one -one befriending for people who are socially isolated in the community for whatever reason. We get the referrals from social work and from community care managers um, throughout Inverclyde. I think because I was a befriender for four years and also because, as I said, I was working um, as a volunteer with Bernardo's, I'm sure that was the training I needed because now I can speak to volunteers about their volunteer experience because I also was a volunteer. It's spending two hours a week with um, somebody who is socially isolated and going and spending two hours of your time with them. Now that can be going to Riley Snooker Hall playing snooker, it could be going to the cinema, it could be going to, for a swim, it could be just as simple as going for a coffee and having a chat for two hours. It's really about giving your two hours time to that person, um, allowing them someone to chat to, someone out with their family environment and someone out with a working environment um, as a support worker. Why should I volunteer? There are many reasons why you may wish to volunteer. These may range from simply using your spare time more constructively, to learning new skills, to helping your community. In addition, you may feel that the volunteering may improve your chances of getting a job if you have been out of work for a while. But most just do it for the personal sense of achievement they get from helping other people. Lots of volunteers that have come through our centre, that, you know, you don't know what, what volunteers are going to do for you. It's going to open up a whole world of options to you that you wouldn't believe. We've had volunteers that have been to see um, Tony Blair, the former Prime Minister. We've had volunteers that have been invited down to see the Queen. So the thing that I love about volunteering and the beauty of it is you just never know where it's going to lead. Well, this, this one here, uh, that was, uh, I was to go down and see the Queen. But unfortunately, I uh, took a heart attack. So I ended up in the hospital, <laughs> and uh, that that was it. But uh, later on, I, I didn't know that uh, Diane got together with a few in here and sent away to see if we could manage to get out and see the Prime Minister. So that was it. So about years later, got to see the Prime Minister. Yeah, when you're volunteering, when you're helping every day, as long as you're making a difference in that place, uh, uh, you're since that achievement, you, you know you've done something worthwhile during the day, so. Hi, my name's Erin, um, I'm 24 years old and I've been working in the volunteer centre for just over a year now. Through volunteering we encourage, um, I don't know, a kind of pay it forward sentiment that, that just helping for the sake of helping, coming in and taking a, an interest in your community instead of just living in it and being in it, to actually be a part of it. Um, encourage young people to step up and have a voice in it and be heard from a very early age therefore they feel that they are part of the community and then they can grow with it instead of just being on the outskirts and being a part of it. When you're volunteering you feel really good about it, you feel happy, you feel as if you've got something to do rather than sitting in the house being bored or wandering around, walking around the streets, giving you something to do. If you're volunteering it's going to help you if you're working if the company knows you're volunteering, then they know that you're committed to a particular, so they're going to help you as much as you can. And if you're not working, then it's a, a bonus for your CV. I was un as I say, I was unemployed, and I, when you're unemployed, you cut yourself off with people, you're starting to mix with people and that again. So I basically, I was the most I got it. Just been a <laughs> My little boy, who's only eight, had been a volunteer and we went out and we volunteered and painted children's playgrounds. So it doesn't matter what age you are, you're never too young to start being a volunteer. And it is, it's a good way for making friends and, and it does, it makes you feel good about yourself, that you've done something to help somebody else. It helps to break down barriers that are maybe portrayed in the media um, of 
people or certain areas or certain age groups and you see all the time all these negative portrayals but if you can put something in that's positive and give back to your community it just I think it's great for communities. So. The thing that I love about volunteering and the beauty of it is you just never know where it's going to lead. The trust in those at the Volunteer Centre hope that this film has given you an insight into the work of the Inverclyde Trust Volunteer Services and has encouraged you to get involved. There are many projects and people in Inverclyde that would be very happy to have your service and the Trust can give you the training, advice and help you need to get started. Volunteering will benefit you personally. Volunteering benefits the community. Volunteering gives a sense of achievement. Volunteering impresses prospective employers. If you're interested in volunteering, you should contact the Volunteer Centre at the Westbourne Centre. The Inverclyde Trust helping you to help the community and yourself.